Omaha couple is using their professional skills to help those with special needs. The match between a physical therapist and engineer will keep their clients moving and help them save money. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Shante Passmore joins us live to explain how. Shante? Jennifer, wheelchairs, strollers, walkers, the couple can take almost anything old and make it new, tailored to fit whatever need a student may have. Marnie, a physical therapist, and Hans, an engineer, are the power duo behind mobility equipment restoration. I've seen a need as a therapist, and I've always gone to Hans to either modify equipment, fix equipment, um, or come up with ideas that won't cost the families as much. Equipment pieces can run into several hundred dollars. The couple rely on donations from families whose children have outgrown their equipment and hospitals. Most often, they make purchases out of their own pockets to run their nonprofit organization. However, outside support is coming in. There's a neighbor at my shop who donates his time, and so he came over and he detailed the chair to make sure it was cleaned up and ready mm -hmm. to go. There was another engineer at my office who assisted in troubleshooting some of the control systems, which isn't my area of skill. While they love giving back to their community, they do run into a reoccurring issue. We can't just service absolutely everyone who has a need. It's, it's, it's a more specialized identification. Um, would it, if we could handle everyone, that'd be great, but we're not sized for that yet. The E1s say they're like any other busy family with full-time careers, but they know the byproduct is worth it. Well, we're not looking for any um, accolades or any, any pats. The, the intent is when the child rides off on the trike or when the child smiles and drives off on their wheelchair, that's about all the thanks we need. That's, that's what it's for. The couple tells me their donations to families in need do come full circle. Once a child outgrows his or her equipment, they return it back to the Ewans, who then fix it up for another child who will need it next. Live, Shante Passmore, KMTV Action 3 News. The